and challenges force force us to need and prioritize God write it down your pain and your challenges they have a way of forcing you to need and prioritize God there are many of us it's not that you have left God but sincerely he's not a priority and so certain times when when certain things shake you and hit you all of a sudden you will remember that they, I, I need to run back to God I need to make things right with them I don't believe that God goes around causing people pain and sorrow no the Bible says every good and perfect gift but because of our human nature God utilizes every unfavorable moment let me tell you a spiritual man is one who can turn both glory and pain into something that helps him to know God we have this we have this um, we have this level there there's something about believers we frown at pain when believers go through challenges and sometimes the church again we are the ones who bring these kinds of things come Sam all of a sudden something happens to Sam maybe he loses a loved one are we together and God forbid Sam just an example and or something happens to him there's disappointment somewhere and you hear believers come ah, ah Sam didn't you hear God what this didn't this happen didn't this happen whereas God is is taking advantage of that opportunity to say Sam I'm bringing you to a point where there is something about me you otherwise would not know if he did not go to the cave of Adullam David would never know certain things about God please listen to what I'm saying if you started that ministry from day one and 1,000 people came you will never believe God is a God of process and so with all your anointing for the first one year only two members the day you did your thanksgiving four came two left before the service was over and you just called your wife your wife said my husband i've never doubted you but kai today let me tell you the truth i know that when you told me god called you it's not i'm using i'm using husband i'm using a come wife now watch this i've never doubted you you said god god called you i said yes he called are you not seeing what I've, is it not is it not my my anointing that that made your your father sick that he allowed me to marry you why when i what are you, you are doubting me today and then all of a sudden the man is now touched and said lord if my own wife that is the surest member of my church is about to leave you better speak to me oh did you call me watch this that seven days dry will lead you to call on to god and god just comes and says son write this i it is true i have anointed you to speak my purposes to the nation a b c d where you will now be dancing celebrating 10 years anniversary when it's your time to give the testimony you are now going to say look i know that god is the lifter of men and you see the wife crying because she knows the other members are just laughing they came into the inheritance of the promise but the woman is standing there come darling are we together ah we want to thank god for our mother our this and she's just looking at them lord thank you if i left now this would have buried my head in shame thank you jesus you have wasted your pain and your challenges and never knew God through them you conquer challenges not by having a way out but by seeing God in them in every challenge there is a dimension of God that is waiting to be revealed listen brothers and sisters in every challenge there is a dimension of God there are dimensions of God you may never know though he slay me yet will i trust him there are things you hear me say casually about god today brothers and sisters is because of the abundance of what i've gone through there are things that you can hear us say at the beginning of this ministry remember i told you how things didn't work there were times that i prayed i fasted i sowed seeds i've said it you've heard me say it again all my scholarships were spent on the kingdom never spent anything on myself there are times that my heavens will close oh god 
is this tithing working or not so when you see somebody come and say apostle i've been tithing since january say just january and you are complaining <laughs> just january and it's not like the favor close just that it's not yet enough you better thank god and keep moving there's something you know let me tell you when you are too innocent in life you can't be sent um not i i i no, the word is i hope i hope you understand what i mean by innocent when you are scarless you can't be sent there is a level of scar that must be on you as a testament you are never please help those under the anointing there you can never represent god scarless there is a mark that is a testament are we together now yes you've never been disappointed in your life you've never had to cry in your life you've never had to lock the door to pray and as a man of god just kneel down and say lord i don't hate you but right now i don't know what to say don't mind all these people that lie all around and make it look like they've been laughing forever it's a lie even jesus wept say it after me jesus one more time jesus the son of the living god the word that creates everything got to a point in his life where he said father imagine if that part of jesus was not captured for us we'll feel guilty whenever we cry in the midst of challenges but today someone can lose a loved one and while we come we'll not just say why didn't you have faith we will continue to teach on life but we can join together and cry and not feel bad apostle you are crying that somebody died well what happened to the anointing that you walk with no problem you may laugh at me but i i have i have learned something with god that he's not just a mighty god he can also be touched with the feelings of our infirmity so i will not just preach life and run away from you when you lose your loved ones and say no 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 we are, we are life-giving spirits no we are life-giving spirits but there are women who died and didn't receive the promise and the bible joined all and called it faith so we will cry together are we together oh you come and all of a sudden you say look apostle this and that and that and that this and that i mean you know not to feel bad but i mean look at this is how my life is i made a stupid decision i i carried my salary and all of a sudden somebody scammed me and this happened i'm just you are stupid i've been drumming divine direction no compassion pain and challenges reveal a dimension of god to you and through you that no other thing no other dimension of kingdom living can reveal there are some of you here god will allow you purposely to stay without food so that the day you become a multi-millionaire you can look at a family and they can say apostle do you know we love god but as it is there's no food this night you will say well man, I, I prophesied to you what else are you waiting for no compassion is not natural with the natural man something must happen to a man to make him compassionate there's nothing like i'm naturally kind no it is life that can bring someone to his knees there are some of you here for instance you by your normal standard you probably would have been doing phd now or even be professors but some of you you are in 300 level right now it may look like it's a disadvantage but there is something through that pain that is revealing god tomorrow when you see somebody going through things and people say this year yeah guys say no i've been there you know why i don't talk against men of god they've persecuted me and they do it every time i know the pain of being persecuted i know the pain of being lied about i know the pain of being misunderstood so i will never sow that seed not to you not to anybody that's why i never insult the body of christ when you hear people do that they are still innocent let them continue growing i know the pain of what it means to see a young man with influence like this and say maybe they are using charm or demonic power no I know the pain of people trivializing your sacrifice everybody say pain say challenges a lady that has entered five or six relationships and has been disappointed by all those brothers gave her heart gave her all and those brothers just made life miserable for her it may be bad but if you can see Christ through your pain the sight of him will wipe your tears all of a sudden and you'll say thank you after all i've been through 
I still have joy. I still have joy. I still have joy. After all I've been through, I still have joy. What have you gone through in life? Hold on. I want to ask you a question, everyone listening to me. What have you gone through in life that has made you matured? What have you gone through in life that has stopped you from insulting men? What have you gone through in life, man of God, that will make money not to move you? What have you gone through in life? How many of you know that there is a way life whips you? That even when you see the result, you don't celebrate much again. Because you started celebrating without the result. You are already used to it. So if someone buys a car, you just say, Lord, thank you. And then you go back and say, Lord, who should I give it to? God says, oh, you can enjoy this one. And it doesn't move you. Because you have learned to rejoice in the midst of pain. I show you a, a this is a very mature spiritual teaching. I believe in prosperity. I will continue to speak over your life to be blessed. I remember one dear lady years ago, one of our, our dear, well, not really part, but a dear lady. It was a few weeks to her wedding when something happened. Cards had been out several things happened i mean everybody was rejoicing like every other lady she was happy ready to rejoice and then something just went terrible cut the long story short wedding was cancelled i remember when i got the text in my mind i said no my, all i was thinking about is this lady because the same friends that were dancing are the same ones that will run and say ah so you see that that's the thing you do you know this is a dimension of god through men that you need to learn that he's truly a friend that stick it closer than a brother someone who can stand and say i will be with you and all of a sudden the moment they say crucify him they will join the people and say crucify you many of us don't have the wisdom of the spirit because our lives are too innocent that's why you trust anybody anyhow that's why you do anything anyhow please listen to what i'm teaching you tonight are we together i remember calling the lady when i called her as soon as she picked my call she started crying because people had called her were disappointed why didn't you find out a and b and c and d all kinds of nonsense see men ba you need to love god to love men men can be so wicked you will be justified to hate them are we together i called that dear lady i said sweetheart where are you i said i need to see you let's meet in the night and in her mind she thought you know most times when people hear my messages they believe that i'm a disciplinarian with all versions of whips i'm not a stupid person are we together yes god gives anointing but our brains are still there we are human beings when i teach i teach in a preventive way that's why sometimes you can see i can lash it but when you are meeting people one-on-one -on -one, you are dealing with real life issues we are humans it doesn't mean it's not an excuse for you not to listen to just say okay so since there's another dimension there is hellfire and there's mercy too all created by god are we together i remember calling that lady and when she came i was seeing her inside a car and the first thing i did was to just hug the lady and she began to cry and i didn't say a word i just allowed sometimes don't stop people from crying too early these tears you see is not just what comes out in an eye it's a language and this lady said apostle why would god do this to me and i said no every time we don't understand god we give thanks is something i learned through my own pain it's not like I, I learned it before i read it in the bible whenever you don't understand god just give thanks why me is not a wise thing lord why is my church not growing why did this and that and that happen you give thanks i remember comforting that dear lady and i told her something i said every time god closes a window check well a door is about to open and i remember when that lady was going to get married oh it was with honor it was with joy you know the kind of joy that will make you forget the pain of yesterday listen let me speak to someone there are many of you who 
you have not learned to see God in your pain you have not learned to see God in your challenges I'm encouraging you tonight when you look back don't look at the problems continue to look Mary Magdalene was looking at a graveyard and she saw Jesus there Jesus is also in the grave he's not just on the throne she came to the grave and was looking who goes to the grave only dead men there are no living people in the grave but when you stand through that grave you can see Jesus looking at you to say you may have been abused when you were young you may have gone through all kinds of things but don't be ashamed of it I am raising you with an anointing tomorrow you are going to have a foundation one uncle deceived you here and don't worry and all of a sudden you are healed you are strengthened and you can rise up and be a blessing as believers both our glory and our pains are still weapons that can bring him glory is God speaking to someone today sometimes I share some of the testimonies of yesteryears not because I'm stupid everybody has his reputation too I share some of these things and it's amazing how some of these messages comfort some of you because if you just see all the things that God is doing today you may think just because you are anointed you are shielded from it nobody is immune from tears Jesus wept every other person in him will weep too there are times that life can push you I've wept at funerals of people here I have had to comfort people we have lost loved ones things have happened around but even at that even when we cannot explain we still say Lord thank you Lord thank you can you lift your voice in one minute and just say Lord thank you even in the midst of the pain in the midst of the pain Lord I went through unfavorable things I trusted a man who disappointed me I trusted my boss he disappointed me Lord I thought by now I would have graduated and standing before me are five carryovers I thought I would get first class my last result I thought I would be promoted and I was driven but I give you thanks I give you thanks I may not understand what you are doing in and through me but Lord I know that you do all things I will sing I will praise Even in my darkest hour Through the sorrow and the pain I will sing in life have added to my experience added to my age 
that's why you see me respect elderly people i am not stupid there are some of you here when you see us honor people say what is there because your blood is hot they paid your school fees they gave you pocket money you entered 100 level by the end of 100 level you have gotten a scholarship your result came out 4.5 your perspective is too innocent to be used keep coming one day something will happen by the time you graduate and for five years there's no job you will now know why people write prayer requests here for now you say ah, what is there about prayer requests every month it's because everything in your life is paid for the day your father look at you and say young man after this month as we are clocking 30th of this month you are packing your loan and you are going and you will think he has an honorarium for you he will just wave you and say my old father just did bye bye and i the same thing i'm doing for you and for the first day you will sleep under a tree that's the day you open your bible and say no i must get this thing don't waste your pain some of you would have entered certain anointings by now if only you could look at God through your pain there is the Bible says, for we know the rest may not know but we know that all things how many things talk to me say all things all things work together apostle what kind of life is this I graduated since 2013 I've been loving God there's no work now for me is it that I don't serve God apostle I love God I love the things of God but not one guy in my whole life there's no gentleman that has come to say ah you're a beautiful lady I want to am I cost <clears throat> it's because you are becoming a mother of nations not a wife and so God is saying I need you to have the kind of compassion that will be required for a mother of nations today i can minister to people because every time i want to be wary there is always something god can use from my past people say apostle is humble i'm not humble it's a revelation of god that has kept me like that the moment i want to lift up my head god just has to show me one vision of one night i could not afford gary and he said where where is the pride coming from your past can help you maintain your glory your past has something in it that can help you keep your glory when you see a man of god blessed and consistent and stable there is nothing that is natural like that there are many of you you will not have listened to god every time they talk to you you are stubborn towards instruction so god allowed you and for one year like the prodigal son you went away from mentorship and instructions and you saw the casualties that it brought to your life and now god comes back again and says can i now help you and you say lord please i will never leave you again are we together we'll stop here tonight make it part one we have part two there, there there's something very deep that i want to share i'll share with you next week or whenever whenever it is that we have the opportunity listen to me brothers and sisters I made certain covenants with my life at certain seasons of pain not luxury there were things I went through in my life and I vowed to God I said Lord if you ever prosper me I will not let one person die of hunger in my presence I would not have said that if money and all these resources just came cheaply I may be part of those like you people running your mouth at every family irresponsible people look how simple it is to prosper so there are times God can allow you you go through this you pray you fast no door opens so that when he blesses you with 10 naira and says give that 10 naira here you don't want people to lick your shoes just because of that there are certain anointings there are people who got certain impartations early in life you see that early in life and it made them proud what is there about this in fact right now i can even show that the power of god will move one two three four and they make all kinds of things mismanagement of the anointing then one day god will leave them and you find out for one year it looked like your heavens were closed you go for a meeting you live there asking did god call me in the midst of your pain 
God begins to show you the visions of the foolishness and the pride you insulted every man of God because you had more revelation than your local pastor you insulted him all this 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 dull reverend doesn't know anything and God kept watching when that heaven closed towards you God will now say go and meet that reverend for prayer he's the one who will open your heavens and you drag yourself in shame like somebody that has finished fighting wrestling and the reverend looks at you and say you I had you talk nonsense God said you better apologize there when you learn it like Samson the anointing comes back again but this time around you know the value of the anointing because you believe that you you are too precious you won't lose it you kept reading books that ah this and that happens the day it left you you don't need to ask whether it goes again you learned a lesson by yourself there are some of us who were very innocent we insult every mother you see somebody's mother insult the mother and say Kai, this woman said this and that i sat down near her ah, she didn't put any perfume Kai, what kind of a smelly in your this koinonia and god is saying no problem it's because you had a father who was a this and that all of a sudden another government will come and they won't give him appointment and your friends will say ah where's our jeep now he said no jeep again no and then when they leave you like the prodigal son then you come back to your senses and the next time god gives you a jeep you don't just say come and see jeep you say come and see god's faithfulness it will suddenly become god's faithfulness no longer jeep we're going to pray tonight i don't know what what pain you may be going through now and you are saying lord if you called me why am i going through this i'm answering you right now lord why is my life like this and god is saying i'm bringing glory you have called me as a kingdom financier lord i've never held fifty thousand of my money and god says i need to teach you that